Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you about syncopation today and how you can apply that to your jazz, comping, fills, and how to apply that to any other style of music that you play. Here's an example of some syncopated rhythms. Two, three, four. So as you can hear, I'm playing a lot of ands. So I'm always playing on the upbeat, in other words, on the and of the beat. So we're going to take a look at Ted Reed's book, Syncopation. Uh, exercise one is all you really need to open the door for endless possibilities of rhythms in different styles. We're just going to look at the first four bars, and that goes like this. One, two, three, four. If you look at the music there, you'll see there's an eighth note with a little flag on it, and the second note is a quarter note. Typically, you don't see that in a lot of modern music because uh, it's a little easier to read it when you have it notated a little bit differently with eighth notes and eighth note rests. But in this, it's an older book, and it's good to learn how to read these rhythms anyways. The eighth notes are going to be the shorter notes, as they are, and the quarter notes are going to be the long notes. The way we're going to play those short and long notes is the long notes are on the bass drum, it's a longer tone, and the short notes on the snare. And we're gonna play those rhythms with our right foot and left hand over the jazz ride cymbal pattern and left foot hi-hat. So rather than playing these rhythms that you see on the first bar verbatim, like I just did. That's great, you should learn how to do the whole entire page, but you can mix them up. I would suggest to learn all of these rhythms as written on the page, and then choose your favorite rhythms and come up with your own unique comping style. Here's an example of how you can mix up all those rhythms on the page. So obviously, you don't have to stay on the snare the whole time. You can mix that up by moving your left hand around to the toms, orchestrating it around in different ways, and that would sound like this. If you're wondering about fills, where to get started, how to play the right rhythms, how to make them have that jazz feel, you can take triplets, play them low, unaccented, and accent the syncopated rhythms that you see on the page. And it sounds like this, one, two, three, four. If you take that a step further, you can fill in all those low, quiet notes with rolls, double stroke rolls. One, two, a one, two. And to get some more colors from that, move it around in the tom, cymbals, and that sounds like this. So with the same concept with the fills, filling in the gaps with double stroke rolls, you can use that with our concept we talked about earlier with the short and long on the kick. You're going to fill in So keeping that motion going on your left hand, you have to accent all of the syncopated notes and still play the hand and foot pattern we played earlier.
Using that concept, you get that Alvin Jones triplet kind of feel. And that sounds like this. Hey guys, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos that are coming out and I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to my, ch uh, please subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe. Sub hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hey guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to, uh, <laughs> subscribe to my channel. I feel like I can't hear myself very well. Subscribe. Sub subscribe. Subscribe. I'm saying it too fast, I think. Subscribe. I think we should just put this in.